Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Devin, and I'm here with my January 2018 TBR. So most of the books I'm going to be reading in January are for the K-pop-a-thon that I am doing next year. The BAP edition is in January. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave a link down in the description box below. If not, I'll try to put it in the little card up in the corner, whichever side it's on. So yeah, basically all the books I have here are for that. There are two or three books I also want to get to that don't pertain to the readathon. But since the readathon's all month, I think I'm just going to focus on these books. Stupid garbage truck, go away, you're making noise. So, I'll start off with the books that are part of the BAP K-Pop-a-thon, and then at the end, I'll do the books that aren't part of it. So the first challenge for the K-Pop-a-thon BAP was read a book with mental health representation, and the book I chose for that is My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Wang <coughs> Wanga? Orga? I'm not entirely sure. Sorry about that. This one deals with a girl who is addicted to plotting her own suicide, and I thought that was kind of fitting, especially with the recent tragedy that happened in K-pop. So I will be reading this. The next challenge was to read a sci-fi book or a book set in space. And for that one, I'm going to be finally finishing a book I have started last year. And that is Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Or vice versa, however you want to say it. And currently I am on page 80. Yeah, I'm on page 80. So I'm really looking forward to finishing this and finishing on with the series and I'm going to probably use the audiobook and read along with it because I've heard the audiobook is really good since this is a book told in like emails and stuff like that so I cannot wait to get to this. Now the next challenge was the choose your bias or the bias and all you had to do was pick your bias or your two biases how many biases you have and read books that were related to your bias. In the announcement video I gave an example for all six members and for this video I will be giving one book example that I might read in my TBR. I'm not going to get to all these books, I don't think, but just in case I do have time and I do get to most of them, I will read these as well. So the first member is Bang Young Gook, and my example was to read a book that had won an award, and for that I am reading one of my all-time favorite middle grade books, and maybe one of my all-time favorite books ever. I will be rereading The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applebegate. This is the full color collector's edition that has color pictures in it. As you can see, there's a colorful tire and stuff like that. And there's an elephant. This book follows Ivan the Gorilla and his life living inside a zoo in a mall. So it's one of my favorite books and I hope to get to this. For the member Him Chan, my prompt was to read a beautiful book I bought because of a beautiful cover or a book with a beautiful cover in general. And that one I picked Infinite by Jody Meadows. This book is the last book in a series that I love called Incarnate by Jody Meadows. And I am cannot wait to get to this final book. And this book cover, like, is so gorgeous. Like, look at that. So this is definitely on top of my priority since Him Chan is my husband, my second bias. The next member was Dae Hyun. And for him, I suggested reading a hyped book or a very popular book. And that and the book I chose is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. This one's going to be coming a movie soon and there's so much hype around this book. So if I get a chance, I'll be picking this one up as well. The fourth member was Young Jay, who's my personal bias. And for that one, I chose the prompt, read a book about a sassy or brainy main character. And for that, I chose Percy Jackson from The Battle of the Labyrinth. This is the fourth book in the Percy Jackson series. And I want to finally finish a lot of series next year, so this is the book I will be starting off with, since Young Jay is my main bias. The fifth member was Jung Up, and for him I suggested reading an underrated book. Now I got two book suggestions from my lovely co-host Amanda, however I could not get my hands on those books before this TBR video was made and before the end of the year, so I decided to go through my Goodreads list and go based on how long ago it was released and how many good read ratings there are and for that book I decided to use Insignia by S.J. Kincaid. I've been told by a lot of people and the person I actually knew about this from which was Margot from Team Epic Reads basically described this as Harry Potter in space and once you say Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, I am sold. So if I get a chance, I might pick this up as well. And the final member was Zello, and for him, my reading prompt was to read a quick book or small book. And for that, I'm going to be reading another book 
by an author I listed prior, and that is Wish Tree by Catherine Applegate. This is another middle grade book. It is very small. It is only about 190 pages, and this book is told from the perspective of a wish tree. You heard me right, a tree as the main character. How awesome is that? The next challenge for January and my TBR was the color series, and that was to read a book that was red, blue, or black. I have two possible books. The first one is going to be the one I want to focus on, and the other one is optional if I have time to read more. And that book that I chose was Jennifer Lynn Barnes' Bad Blood. Now, Bad Blood is the fourth and final book in her natural series, which is a YA Criminal Minds book. And as you can see, there is red, black, and a little bit of blue. So this covers all three bases, and Jennifer Lynn Barnes is one of my all-time favorite young adult authors, so I cannot wait to finally finish the series. And if I get to all six books for the readathon and I have time, I might pick up this book as well because I really want to finish the series, and that is Prophecy by Ellen O. This book would cover blue and red. This is a YA retelling of Korean mythology. So I thought that was fitting as well. So if I get to this, that would be great because it would be a reread. The fifth book for my TBR and for the challenges was Kings, and that is to read a book containing royalty. And I want to do a lot of rereading this year of some of my favorite books because I haven't didn't reread anything last year. So I'll be rereading one of my favorite series that's almost even with Harry Potter, and that is the Del Toro Quest series by Emily Rhoda. This is one of my all-time favorite fantasy series. And this right here is a bind up of the first four books. So I'll be reading the first book this month and I have time. I might go on to the second and third. But this is just one of my all time favorite series. And the final book for the readathon in January is to read six books because there's six members. But the book I chose is actually a library book, and that is Rebel Soul by Axio. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. Sorry, I'm horrible with reading and writing and names and. I'm sorry. This book is a dystopian taking place in a futuristic dystopian version of Seoul, Korea. And again, fitting because it's a K-pop readathon and this book takes place in Korea. So I really hope that I love this. I just heard awesome things, so I cannot wait to get to this. So those are all the books for my BAP readathon. Now, not all of them I'm going to be reading. I'm only going to try and read one book from the member section, and if I have time I'll get to the other ones but I wanted to give myself options in just in case my reading mood changed and I didn't want to pick a book based on my bias. So that's why those are there. But those are the main six books I'm going to be reading. And I do have two or three extra books that I might want to get to at the end. The first one is a manga, and that is Tokyo Ghoul Volume 3. I read the first two in November or October, one of those months, and I really, really, really loved it. And I just got the third one, like, the end of the end of November. So I cannot wait to finally continue with this series. The next book I want to get to is a book that's part of one of my all-time favorite series again. And that is Flesh and Bone by Jonathan Mayberry. This is the third book to his Rotten Ruin series. And that series is all about zombies and family and friendship. And it's just so good. And I totally recommend, if you're going to pick up the first book, Rotten Ruin, to listen to the audiobook because the audiobook does an amazing job with the story. So those were all the books that I want to read in January. There might be other books that I read as new releases get published and all that kind of stuff. But my main goal is the six books from the BAP readathon and one or two of the optional books, if not one or two of the books for the BAP readathon that were optional as well. So hopefully I can read at least seven to eight books. That would be amazing because 20 books last year was such, oh, that, oh, I felt so bad. Like, I was so disappointed in myself because I thought I read a lot, but I got so immersed in K-pop and new releases in music and music videos and watching reactions that I just, my mood for me, my mood for reading just kind of went downhill. So hopefully 2018 will be way different. I'll be able to balance work, K-pop, and all this reading that I have up here. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you're going to participate in the readathon, let me know in the description. Description. Wow, Devin, you are so tired. Let me know in the comments down below. If not, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Kpopathon18, which I will leave again in the description down below. And I will see you guys soon in another video. Bye!